Who changed? That is awesome. That is not cute. I need someone to make me laugh. There's Jim. Kim is always late. I'm here. Get out of the way. Stand here. Hey Dawns, guess who's back? Back again. That's right, Cathedral. I'm Jack Freem. And I'm Julia Way, and we're your permanent CCTV anchors. And welcome back to CCTV. Last Saturday, ASB hosted the Senior Overnighter. And all the seniors had a great time. Yeah, we did, but I totally fell asleep. Tomorrow is the homecoming dance, and we hope to see you all there. Now let's send it over to Kiana to find out more about the mock trial team. Hey Dons, I'm here with Madison Sharbarth and Angie Schleeman, veterans of the mock trial team. So Madison, what can you tell us about mock trial and how do you guys practice? So each week we have a meeting that we practice in and we are given a case along with all the other schools that are going to competition for it. So each week when we really focus in on a character that fits you and then attorneys help you one-on-one -on -one to perfect your character. Alright, and what does competition look like? So it's in the Hall of Justice in downtown and you are competing against a certain school that you're given and there's attorney coaches that are scoring you on how well you perform and then an actual judge that gives the verdict. Awesome, and who is the new teacher? Uh, Mr. Collins. Awesome, so anyone interested in mock trial, please contact Mr. Collins. And with CCTV, I'm Kiana Schleeman, back to the anchor. Thanks, Kiana. The judges determined mock trial to be loads of fun. The Academic League had their first tournament this past weekend, finishing 7th in a very strong pool of teams. Good luck continuing on with the season. Speaking of academics, the first quarter ends next Friday, so be sure to finish strong, Dons. We celebrated our first all-school mass together yesterday with the St. Therese of Lisieux Liturgy. Great job to all people involved. And a big thank you to all the students for being loud and attentive. And on that note, let's catch up with CCTV Light. Good morning, Dons. I'm Marceluda Martin, and welcome back to the lighter side of CCTV. The saint of the week is St. Anthony, patron saint of lost things. So next time you're feeling a little lost, send a prayer over to St. Anthony. Speaking of prayers, don't forget to pray for Miss Middlebrooks, Coach Lee, Coach Petiti, and Miss Allery's Light Group as they go out on service next week. Let's send it off to Amanda to learn more about the Nicaragua service trip. Thanks, Arcelita. I caught up with Allie and Monty, who went on the Nicaragua trip last year. So, Allie, what did you do there? We traveled down to Nicaragua and got immersed in the culture. We met families and built relationships with uh, kids from other schools and the local families that lived there. And we also helped with the water project to bring water to a local community and went and visited a nursing home. Thanks, Allie. Monty, how did you feel about the trip? At first, I was really like upset because I got to see like people living in such terrible circumstances. They're like actually like a lot happier than like people that I've met so far in my life. So it was a really like eye-opening experience in that you get to see like di different people's attitudes from like different countries and like different circumstances. Thanks, Monty. Now let's catch up with some of our trip moderators. Now I'm here with Miss P and Mr. Hurt to hear more about the trip. So, Mr. Hurt, why is this trip important for Cathedral? This trip's important uh, to Cathedral because being a Catholic school and a school that's uh, dedicated to service, um, it, it fits in well uh, with what we're trying to do here. And um, one of those things is try to expose students to uh, just different cultures and different issues in social justice. So um, this trip is, is perfect for that. Uh, students will get to encounter the social justice issue of, of clean water. Um, we deal with communities who, um, who don't have clean water and because of that kidney disease is uh, is really is something that the community struggles with and then also um, the students build relationships uh, with uh, not only amongst the cathedral kids but also whatever uh, what other students are there and um, also with the Nicaraguans as well so it's a very it's a very powerful powerful trip that fits well with what we do here at Cathedral. And Ms. P how can students sign up? Students can sign up 
by going to um, a web page that we've set up for the trip. This was emailed out. It's on our Facebook page. So go to that website. There's an application for you to fill out and you can bring a $200 deposit to hold your spot to Mr. Hurt. Um, and we'll be accepting those as soon as possible. We also have a parent and student information meeting October 8th in the lecture hall at 6 p.m. So if you're interested, please join us then. Also, when is the trip? The trip this year will be during the school week. It's February 13th through the 20th in 2016. Great. Well, you heard it here, Dons. For CCTV Light, I'm Amanda Wright. Let's send it back to Arsalita in the Lightroom. Thanks, Amanda. Pope Francis was on American ground until last Sunday. During his visit, he canonized Junipero Serra and spoke at Congress to discuss multiple political issues, such as climate change, immigration, and the refugee crisis. He told Congress and the United States that our efforts must aim at restoring hope, righting wrongs, maintaining commitments, and promoting the well-being of individuals. So make sure to give our wonderful Pope a follow at Pontifex on Twitter. Now off to Delaney for news on a great club held here on campus. Thanks, Arcelia. I'm here with two seniors, Neve Nelson and Hayden Hoey, leaders of Sturdy Wings. So, Hayden, what is Sturdy Wings? Um, Sturdy Wings is a wellness group here on campus for students and even teachers who are experiencing illness and death in either their family or friends. And you can come to get support or you can come to support others. Awesome. And Neve, when and where do you meet? We meet the first Wednesday of every month in Father Martin's room in Downstairs to Sales. And we have a meeting this Wednesday, so come out. Awesome. And how has this group impacted your life? Um, I started coming second semester freshman year, and a lot of the upperclassmen leaders and even teachers were very helpful with giving me insight and making me feel like I was welcome, and especially not alone in my situation. And Eve? Through this group, I've gained a very trustworthy and dependable group of friends that I know I will cherish forever. Thanks for the information, ladies. The love is real, Dawn, so come out to support Sturdy Wings. For CCTV Light, I'm Delaney Grazier. Back to you. Thanks, Delaney. That's all I have for you this week, Dawns. For CCTV Light, I'm Arcelita Martin. Have a delightful homecoming weekend. Thanks, Arcelita. Congratulations to all the new ambassadors who were inducted this past Monday. Now, the SAT is tomorrow, so be sure to get some sleep. After the homecoming football game, of course. Speaking of football, let's throw it off to Cole for another segment of sports. What's going on, Dons? Hope you're having an awesome week. I'm Cole Mueller, and welcome back to a great week of some sports. Starting off with your boys' varsity football team, where last Friday they stuffed the Liberty High Patriots in a 24-10 win up in Bakersfield. The Dons' defense played great with eight turnovers, three of those by senior Kai Walter, and one of them resulted in him running it back for a touchdown. The boys' next game is tonight at our own Manchester Stadium against the East Lake Titans. It is our homecoming game, and the theme is tie-dye. Swimming on over to your boys' water polo team, where last week they beat Poway 14-3 in the first game of the America's Finest City Tournament. They continued the rest of their tournament, winning all three of their games. Their next game is today against Loyola at home. Bumping it on over to your girls' volleyball team, where last Friday the girls beat Scripps Ranch three games to zero. The girls played great, and there was an awesome turnout from the fans. Now here's Preston with more on the girls. Thanks, Cole. I'm here with Lexi, Lauren, and Marissa of the girls' varsity volleyball team. So Marissa, you guys are going to Santa Barbara soon. How do you feel about that? Um, I think we're going to do really well. We've actually come together as a team these past couple weeks, so we're really excited. Perfect, perfect. So Lauren, uh, the rest of the season, what are you guys' goals? Um, well, obviously long term we want to make our way to CIF and win that, and then go up to state and win that too. But for now, I'd say like short term, just stay connected as a team. Perfect, perfect. And coming off a big win against Scripps Ranch, you guys are, I mean, you have a bunch of your teammates are uh, committed, so can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so I'm committed to Purdue. We got Lauren here committed to Notre Dame, and we got Marissa committed to Boston College. We also have uh, Callie Bunn committed to Tulane, and Shaney Lipscomb committed to Hawaii. Thanks, ladies. Good luck on your season. I'm Preston Stiebel reporting live for CCTV. Back to you in the anchor room, Cole. Thanks, Preston. Now, running on over to your girls' cross-country team, where last Friday some of the girls competed in the Stanford Invitational. The girls' team ran great, and sophomore Cami Doheny ran the 5K in 18.28, placing in the top 50 out of over 1,000 runners. Now, here's Adriana, who caught up with both the girls' and the boys' cross-country teams. Thanks. I'm here with members of your cross-country team, Dylan, Jacob, and Rachel. So, Dylan, what does a typical practice day look like? Well, a typical practice, if you could believe it or not, consists of running. We do long runs, short runs, tempo, speed workout, 
hill running. And yeah, afterwards we tried to hit up the gym, get as swole as we could get. And Jacob, how is the team looking so far? Oh, we're looking pretty strong so far. Our team is mainly uh, sophomores and juniors, so uh, when we graduate, they'll take our places. And uh, we have two uh, really big sophomore studs, Joaquin Martinez de Pinillos, the former freshman and uh, former number one freshman in the state, and uh, Cami Doheny, who recently placed number one in our girls' team at Stanford Invitational. And Rachel, what are your goals for the season? Our goals for both the girls and the guys team is to win league, to win CIF, and to place on the podium of state. That's all for this week. For CCTV, I'm Adriana. Back to you, Cole. Thanks, Adriana. Well, that's it for sports this week, Dons. Now back to you in the anchor room. Thanks, Cole, and good luck to all our sports teams. This past week, Cathedral celebrated Spirit Week, and it was great to see you all getting pumped for the big weekend. And the spirit continues with the fall rally today. Students, you'll be excused after your second period class. Make sure you cheer loud and proud, Dons. Well, that's all the news we have for you this week, Dons. Have an amazing time at homecoming and all the festivities until then. And remember, it's, it's a, a great, great day, day to be a Don. Don. We'll see you all next week. <laughs>